How's it going everyone? Back here with episode 5. Um, in this tutorial we are going to start implementing the uh, level parser. Now in the previous episode we added the jump mechanic. Um, if I run the current state of the game all we have is just a moving player um, can jump. And all we have is nothing really too interesting. We, all we have is just this green block. Um, but I think we should be able to, you know, manipulate the environment a little bit more um, with a more flexibility than explicitly defining the, um, the objects with code and instead use an editor um, called Tiled. If you don't have it, I'll provide a link in the description below. It's pretty easy to install. Um, so what we're going to do is once you have tiled open, you're just going to want to create a new map. And what we'll do is we'll create a 20 by, um, let's say, 18 or no, 14. Sure. Actually, let's give us more space. 32 by 32 will do just fine. And 32 by 32 tile size. Um, this will give us plenty of room to make and um, do stuff. And you're going to want to save it to um, uh, the folder wherever you have your main game uh, files in. And we'll save this as level underscore one. And dot tmx, tiled map files, should be the uh, selected file type. Save. And so now that we, we have this editor, um, all we have right now is showing this tile layer and um, uh, this is blank. So we have nothing on it, so this isn't too interesting. I'm going to remove this tile layer because it won't be of any interest as of now. Um, all we want to do is be able to manipulate and create uh, collision objects um, very easily. So I'm going to create this objects layer. Um, I'm going to call it solids. If you don't know how I did that, all I did was click this little button in the left hand corner and selected object layer. Um, and so now that we have this object layer, we can add objects. So if you select this rectangle tool, this rectangle tab, excuse me, um, now we can start placing objects wherever we like. And it's just as simple as that. Um, so we can add one here. Maybe we have like, um, actually, you know what? We don't have a camera system yet. So um, the viewport of our screen will be very limited. So I should make this level pretty small now that I think about it. So I'll have a little drop, little platform right here. Maybe another one. Uh, that one's a little, well, a little farther down. And let's add some walls. And it's okay that if uh, the objects are placed outside of the tile uh, map, that's just fine. The X and Y coordinates will still be um, appropriate for uh, loading them. So we have this little map right here. Nothing terribly exciting, but nonetheless, we have something we created in the editor. Um, maybe, I don't know, a little box right here we can jump on. That'll be fun, right? So, and I also want to make these walls super high so that we can't jump out of them, right? Um, or that wouldn't be no fun. So, uh, we can just save this, and if you saved it initially in the appropriate destination, then this should be all good to go. Um, in terms of just saving this this uh, this file, but if you didn't click save as and go the the appropriate destination, so now we want to do export as, and um, as you see, a window comes up, and we want to have dot lua selected out of all these because um, we want to be able to use Lua. We save it and export it 
and if I list out the um, oh look at that it didn't did it export I don't think it did um, let me try one more time oh it's because I have its desktop selected um, should be the file where all your games are of course if I do it one more time okay there we go as we can see there's our level and if we open this up it's pretty much just basically this really big table um, especially if you have like um, very very detailed levels um, with different tile maps and like a foreground or a background and stuff but we'll be able to um, parse through this like any other table in Lua um, and that makes it very very easy to use so um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna load the level um, I'm actually going to place this after the player so let's define let's just say um, main uh, and we'll say local level and we can get rid of this block because we don't need it so local level not not a table but will equal require and then as you might have guessed level underscore one um, now that we have the table let's do some uh, Let's create some new functions using the level. So, uh, I think load level collision objects is pretty uh, descriptive. So, basically, where our object layer is is um, we have this parent, this root table, and it contains stuff like the version, the width and height the, of the tile map, which will be important. For us um, if we want to start drawing stuff and the layers is where our object group is as you can see um, it contain basically this layers is um, a two-dimensional array and each uh, subarray is a layer um, and as you can see we have this layer named solids that we created and inside our layer, we have this another table called objects. And this objects table is a two-dimensional table as well, containing each of our objects that we have made. Ooh, hopefully, you didn't get too confused by that, but um, we'll step through this. Um, so we want to be able to um, step through the objects. So I'm just going to set a variable called objects to level underscore layer layers excuse me and um, because we only have one air layer I'm just going to index it as zero or excuse me one because um, of those base uh, array arrays start at one and so um, now we have our layer let's step through it so we we access this layers variable this is the table that we selected with the index zero now we want to be able to select the objects table and we do this by just doing objects and there we go there we have our variable for objects and now I'm going to set a um, create a for loop and we're going to step through the objects uh, or the items inside this objects uh, table and if we look at it we have x, y width height, and if you remember the world add functions, this will be very, very, very simple. All we do is just cut this block statement we previously had, and we can create another variable. Uh, we'll call this obj, short for object, and we'll call this object. We'll um, set it equal to objects at the index i, and now. We can um, just replace block with object. And if we, oops, before we run this, we need to call, oops, what am I doing? Call the, um, the function we made. Uh, oh, one more thing I forgot. 
And this is pretty absurdly long. Um, so I'm just going to call this draw objects. In fact, we could have just called this, <laughs> this kind of silly load objects. Um, and we're also going to want to pass in the level because uh, we pass it as a parameter just simply because if we wanted to um, change this with another level that you want to make or something like that. Um, it can be easily done if you have like multiple levels in a single file like you know level two blah 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 you can just swap it right here um, as an argument. So we're going to create this new function called draw objects and we're going to do exactly what we had before. Um, Except this time, instead of um, adding collision objects, because this is going to be running every frame, we just want to draw them. Um, and I will call this, let's see, what kind of colors do we want? Let's say blue. Um, Seems like a nice dark blue. And we will uh, draw rectangles, lines, and we'll get our, our object variable back by indexing objects at i and draw at object x, object y, object. Oh my goodness, object width, can I type? So object width, object height, and that will draw our rectangles. And so we can replace this, um, these two draw objects. And if we run this, if there's no bugs, it should work just fine. And as you can see, we have our level that we made. Um, so I underestimated the amount of space we had in the window, but um, if you want to, you can add more or delete these objects. Um, it's quite simple. The, um, the tiled editor, if you don't know the, the controls to move around, space is to pan around. Um, if you hold on Windows, it's command, but if you're on window, uh, so excuse me, on Mac, it's command, but if you're on Windows, it's control. And if you just, you can use that to move, zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. And then pan. And if you want to delete an object, um, it's pretty simple. You just right click it and then, as you can see, um, delete, remove object, or you can flip them or uh, view the object's properties. Um, so yeah, hopefully this was helpful. Um, this is going to be uh, the first part of um, actually getting a running game setting up. Um, and the level aspect is uh, especially crucial. And using tiled is very flexible instead of having to hard code a level, um, that's no fun. So yeah, leave a like, subscribe. Um, if you enjoyed uh, what you've made so far, please share it with your family and friends. Um, and if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. See you next time.